The first that we're going to talk about is called the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, or RIFRA. Um, you may have heard this come up in public conversations and debate over the last couple of years. It's been litigated at the Supreme Court um, in cases like Hobby Lobby and the Little Sisters of the Poor, which are both Beckett clients. Um, and, and this statute was passed in 1993 as a congressional response to a Supreme Court decision authored by Justice Scalia called Employment Division versus Smith. And this was a case where there were two Native American men who were fired for smoking peyote, which is, is a, a drug, a hallucinogen drug, um, but part of, of some Native American religions. And they were fired and then were denied employment benefits. And they sued. And the Supreme Court uh, said, basically, where there is a neutral, generally applicable law that wasn't meant to target a sincere religious practice, it can be enforced, even if it's if it's Im imposing a burden on that religious practice. And this was a result that was so untenable to so many different organizations and faiths and people of varying backgrounds that an unprecedentedly diverse coalition came together to pass RIFRA. Um, and they passed it in two Congress sessions. Um, they introduced it uh, right after the decision, and then they passed it through in the next Congress, which is, is really very fast for how Congress moves. Um, and not only did they pass it fairly quickly, it was passed nearly unanimously, which is also virtually unheard of, even in 1993. Um, a lot of time has passed, but uh, there was just such a, an agreement that the government should not be burdening religious practice, whether they do it overtly <laughs> and intentionally or whether they do it unintentionally, that that's not acceptable. Um, and when President Clinton signed this bill, we mentioned signing statements earlier, he said, and I quote, let us never believe that the freedom of religion imposes on any of us some responsibility to run from our convictions. Let us instead respect one another's faiths fight to the death to preserve the right of every American to practice whatever convictions he or she has. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more finance, governance, and fundraising news and insights for your church or ministry.